Hi again, Doug here from X Frames FPV, and today we've got another build out video for you. This is a little different because this one is came to me from Hawaii, and the customer had pretty much finished it. When I got it, I opened the box. I was like, wow, it looks like a completed drone almost minus the FPV gear. But he wanted to do some changes and wanted me to kind of redo everything, so I'm glad to do that for him. So what do we have here? Well, we have the Neato 205 brake neck. And, you know, we just finished the Neato 220, and that turned out to be a beautiful build for a customer just down the street, just down the road from me a ways. But, you know, this one is an all-out racer. The 220 is probably more of a freestyle um, it's a little heavier, which kind of can work well for freestyle because you get a little bit more airtime. And um, but this one is just really nice and slim, and it's just absolutely gorgeous. I just have one screw here holding on the top. But you know, we talked about as I'm letting you look at the beautiful lines of this thing. Um, we talked about how the um, looks like Superman. Sorry. Uh, Superman without his cape, right? That's kind of what it looked like to me first time I saw it. I'm sorry. Anyways, um, we talked about the Nitos being a little bit more involved um, from a build standpoint. And that's because, you know, everything's housed in between, um, or a lot of the components is are housed in between the side skirts. And so you're kind of tucking everything in there. And so it makes it a little more complicated, but boy, when it's done, it is really beautiful. Um, this one we've, I've already done the sanding and the CA gluing. So that makes it more, um, resistant. If you have a crash where you, which a lot of crashes, they end up hitting on one of the arms. Um, they will splinter a lot of times and the CA glue just kind of strengthens that so that they don't splinter as easily and um, so let's get a weight now um, I will say the weight's not going to be 100% accurate because I don't have the screw all the screws on there but I also do still have I've got a couple of standoffs and the camera mount so it gave you a rough idea of what it's going to be if you want the exact measurement the exact weight um they would have that on the website, on Nito's website, but we're just going to, this is just really a general. So we have 119 grams for the frame. And let's do a measurement on the arms. They're supposed to be right at four millimeter. Yeah. Okay. Four millimeter for the arms. Um, and that's really good on the, especially on a one piece design like, like this. So that gives you some extra strength. I have the 180, which only has three millimeter arms. And, um, that thing is really tough. I've been very surprised at how many hits on, on the, the arms that it can take. So, um, overall, I think they, they do a really good job over there, but let's get into some of the components. This is, make sure you can see this. Let me put it in this hand because I, I want to kind of get some detail on this one for you guys. This is the Furious FPV. This is the Com Combini flight controller. And, you know, this is one that has the PDB and the flight controller all integrated together. And I that's a great idea, and, and I really do like it. Um. I will say, you know, there's some really good things about this. You know, it's got the M MPU 6000 so that it's really nice and quiet. Um, and, you know, it, there's a lot of really good, it's set up for spectrum. You've got 5 volts, you've got 12 volts. All of that is really great, okay? But where, um, where I've come into a little bit of an issue is, when you're getting into where these all these pads are just right in, just really close together, and especially on this end where you have your voltage comes in here for your battery, um, and then you also have your the voltage for your ESCs here, and then you've got your signal. Now, by the time you get either a 12 or e even a 14 gauge wire in there. 
um, it's going to be really tight. And so I just, the layout, I'm, I, you know, I think it's going to be a great board and everything I've read about it says that, but the layout, I'm just, I'm not just totally sold on the layout. So, but we'll get it built and we'll get an idea of, of, um, how hard it really is. Now, you know, I, part of my problem maybe because I just finished up with the Impulse RC Helix and the Helix, Helix is absolutely laid out just beautifully. I, I think, you know, when it comes to components and how they lay, how they do them over there at Impulse RC, they just put a lot of thought and care into um, making sure that everything fits and functions very well. It's not to say that they are the best frame manufacturer out there because they're not. There's other companies that are just as good, but they really do a good job of making sure every little detail is thought through, and I really appreciate that. But let's go on and f- on the rest of this build here uh, for flight controller. We're going to be running the TBS Unify. This is the 5 volt one that is switchable between 20 and 800 milliwatt. Really nice and and small. This is the Piggy OSD that um, basically piggybacks on right on the back of a camera. Now I'm showing you here a 1200 TVL camera. 11. I think this is 1189, but there's 1177. This is. Um, works really well. Now with the camera that this gentleman's running, which is the Runcam Owl, okay, this they have the secondary have these pivot mounts here. And so those get in the way. Let me see if I can get that on there. There's really no way to mount it without it sticking down here. So I'm I'm gonna come up with I'm gonna mount it back just a little bit um because I, I really do like these. Um this guy is a racer and it really just makes for another strong, secure mounting point. So, but so we are, you know, he does do a lot of um, kind of darker flying. So that's what, you know, low light situations and the run cam owl is great for that. Uh, for the receiver, he's running the lemon. This is a diversity spectrum receiver. Uh, motors, he's running the RS 2205, 2300 KV red bottoms these are really really popular and it's just a great workhorse motor nice and smooth not crazy has enough power but not crazy on power to where um to where you're going to have tune issues and we've talked about that how sometimes if they're some of the motors that are crazy on power can be a little harder to tune and these are are fairly efficient um as far as the escs i'm not really sure what those are um i'll know once i get it um, everything installed and um, hooked up to um, Bio Heli Suite, but that's the build. This should be pretty light. You know, we're saving some weight with having the PDB integrated with the flight controller. Um, we probably make it up with the uh, OSD, but it doesn't weigh too much. Let's go ahead. We can get some some weight on a few things here. Make sure you can see. Hello. So the OSD with the pigtail weighs, yeah, 2.4 grams. So that's really light. Um, Flight controller weighs 7.8. So you're still, even with the two of them, um, you're still below what a lot of flight controller and PDBs together would weigh. Um, We'll throw this on here just, just for giggles. TBS Unify Pro is weighing in at 4.9. Camera is weighing in at 14.7. And this is super light. These are like, I think, yeah, 2.7. I was going to say right around 3 grams. And then a motor and ESC weighs in at 35. So <laughs> maybe you're doing the math in your head. I'm not doing it in my head right now. So, um, but I can tell you when this is all, all and said, all is said and done, I think this will be a really light build. I know it's going to be a fun build and I know it will be a beautiful build. So I hope you guys stay tuned. Um, I will, I'm not sure if I'm going to do a three part series. We'll definitely do a two part series, but we'll, 
you know, I never know until I get into the build if I want to add um, that second part in there. So hope you guys are getting something out of these videos. I am appreciating you guys so much. I'm, you know, I'm up plus 700 and something. And I just, you know, the conversations that we have and the the comments that I've had has just been wonderful. So I, 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 I thank you guys for that. You can check out my website at xframesfpv.com and you can find out prices for builds and that kind of thing. And we're going to be doing some couple of promotions as we get closer to Christmas um, and give people some the opportunity to maybe even win some some things and that kind of stuff. So, um, But you guys, I hope you have a great day. And I really hope you get a chance to fly because that's what it's all about. Thanks, guys.